Okay, up. Oh. Okay, everyone. So this is Wesley. Wesley is one of my rescue dogs. And he, at one point, did have heartworms. Big yawn. <laughs> so he's eight years old. Um, I got him when he was five, or that's at least what the people told me. And he is probably like my soulmate. Like he is the best dog I've ever had prior to having him. He is just incredible. Um, I guess we are here to talk about your heartworm story. Oh goodness, you got me right in the face. Okay, so we're gonna talk about it. So obviously talking about like heartworm treatment and like my experience with heartworm treatment and Wesley's experience with heartworm treatment everybody is gonna have a different experience like you're gonna go to your vet if your dog happens to have heartworms or if you adopt a dog that has heartworms you're gonna go to your vet your vets gonna evaluate the dog and like how that dog acts on a day-to-day -day basis and if the dog acts kind of crazy like Wesley you might have a similar experience as I did so that's kind of like my little disclaimer um, and it's so hard because like talking about this it was super scary at the time and obviously when I tell people the story they're like oh my gosh like I didn't even know that could happen like that's crazy that a dog could go through something that horrific especially at five years old um, so keep all of that in mind when you're listening to this story um, and also welcome back to my channel um, I'm Laura Wesley obviously you just met him but um, hopefully you'll enjoy this this kind of like story time I guess um, I have a couple more heartworm stories like about dogs one that was a little bit worse than Wesley's and then one that was way better than Wesley's he just kind of like went through and was perfectly fine so Wesley's kind of in the middle of like what could happen so I guess let's just uh, break into it <laughs> So I got Wesley when he was five years old, like I said, and um, so this was like three years ago. When I got him, I got him from a lady in um, Punta Gorda, I think. It's like, from where I was living at the time, it was like an hour and a half drive away. And uh, my mom had said, my mom had said, yeah, there's a dog that looks just like Dixie on Craigslist. And I was like, what? And at this point, I was coming home from the college that I was going to, and I was, you know, taking a couple years off to try and figure out what I wanted to actually do, because at this point, my grades weren't very good, and I had to actually evaluate what I was doing with my life. Um, so I wanted to bring my college cats home, and my mom told me, no, like, you can't have your college cats, whatever. So this lady in Punta Gorda, I find her, I find the listing, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this dog is so cute. And if I still have the pictures, I'll insert them here <laughs> of him. Okay, everyone so this is Wesley Wesley is one of my rescue dogs and he at one point did have heartworms big yawn <laughs> so he's eight years old um, I got him when he was five or that's at least what the people told me and he is probably like my soulmate like he is the best dog I've ever had prior to having him he is just incredible um, I guess we are here to talk about your heartworm story. Oh goodness, you got me right in the face. Okay, so we're gonna talk about it. Um, so obviously talking about like heartworm treatment and like 
of my experience with heart room treatment and Wesley's experience with heart room treatment, everybody is gonna have a different experience. Like, you're gonna go to your vet if your dog happens to have heartworms or if you adopt a dog that has heartworms, you're gonna go to your vet, your vet's gonna evaluate the dog and like how that dog acts on a day-to-day -day basis. And if the dog acts kind of crazy like Wesley, you might have a similar experience as I did. So that's kind of like my little disclaimer. Um, and it's so hard because like talking about this, it was super scary at the time. And obviously when I tell people the story, they're like, oh my gosh, like I didn't even know that could happen. Like that's crazy that a dog could go through something that horrific, especially at five years old. Um, so keep all of that in mind when you're listening to this story. Um, and also welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Laura, Wesley, obviously, you just met him. But um, hopefully you'll enjoy this, this kind of like story time, I guess. Um, I have a couple more heartworm stories like about dogs, one that was a little bit worse than Wesley's and then one that was way better than Wesley's. He just kind of like went through and was perfectly fine. So Wesley's kind of in the middle of like what could happen. So I guess let's just uh, break into it. <laughs> so I got Wesley when he was five years old, like I said, and um, so this was like three years ago. When I got him, I got him from a lady in... Um, Punta Gorda, I think. It's like, from where I was living at the time, it was like an hour and a half drive away. And uh, my mom had said, my mom had said, yeah, there's a dog that looks just like Dixie on Craigslist. And I was like, what? And at this point, I was coming home from the college that I was going to, and I was, you know, taking a couple of years off to try and figure out what I wanted to actually do. Because at this point, my grades weren't very good and I had to actually evaluate what I was doing with my life. Um, so I wanted to bring my college cats home and my mom told me no, like you can't have your college cats, whatever. So this lady in Punta Gorda, I find her, I find the listing and I'm like, oh my gosh, this dog is so cute. And if I still have the pictures, I'll insert them here <laughs> of him um, from the Craigslist listing. But he was super cute. He looked super fun, whatever. So we go. We do the whole adoption thing. We pick him up, we bring him home. If you hear tearing, that is the rabbits. We're in the bunny room. And the bunnies are um, currently playing with the cardboard box. So um, let me let me try and get that. Anyway, so, so we do the whole adoption thing. We bring him home and about, I'd say a week into us having him, um, my, he starts coughing and I'm like, oh God. Like that's a telltale sign that either the dog has kennel cough, which he wasn't in a shelter, so that wasn't really a possibility, or he has heartworms. So we start freaking out. My mom's like, you need to take him to the vet, get him heartworm tested. I texted the girl that had him and I asked her, hey, did you have him on heartworm preventative? Which by the way, heartworm preventative, do it because it literally cost us i think after it was all said and done with all of the emergency visits that we had to do with him it was i want to say three to five thousand dollars and heartworm treatment is literally like seven dollars a month like it's not expensive at all the only thing that's expensive about it is you have to go to the vet and the vet has to prescribe it to your dog so having said all of that she said no things have been tight and we couldn't afford to put him on heartworm treatment. So I kind of did like an eye roll thing and I was just like, you know, whatever, I'm not asking you for money, but for future reference, if you have a dog, put them on heartworm treatment or heartworm preventative because this is ridiculous. So I go to the vet and um, my vet absolutely adores Wesley. She's loving on him. She's like, oh my gosh, I love Brittany Spaniels. I love pointers. This is a beautiful mix whatever and um she was like there's no way he has heartworms like there's absolutely no way she does the test all of his organs sound perfectly fine but she does the test and heartworm positive so we talked about how we want to treat him and she said because he's a very very high very excited dog all the time like he's very high maintenance he's high strong he has high anxiety he wants to be doing something at all times so because of that she wanted to do it in like a drawn out period usually they do like one heartworm treatment and then they wait and they do it another heartworm treatment and instead of that 
like instead of it being a two treatment it was a four treatment or a three treatment so that the kill would be slower because if you kill too many worms at once basically it can cause the dog to have a heart attack which is why they have to stay calm throughout the entire um, treatment so that was like the biggest thing is how are we going to keep this dog calm so <laughs> the first time i brought him in for his treatment she said here give him ace tablets ace tablets for those of you who don't know are basically like a doggy downer they're supposed to calm the dog down whatever she gave me enough for a hundred pound dog wesley only weighs 65 to 70 pounds at this point and she's like oh hey cat <laughs> Um, at this point, he was only like 65 to 70 pounds. So she said, I'll give you enough for a hundred pound dog. That should knock him out and then we'll be able to do the treatment and everything's fine. So I give him the tablets. I leave to take him to the vet and it's like nothing has changed. He's bouncing off the walls, acting like a psycho. He is like freaking out. He loves car rides, but he like whines a lot in the car. Like, I don't know. He's just a freak. He always wants the window down. I obviously didn't have the window down, whatever. So I take him to the vet, the vet's like, oh my gosh, like, did you give him anything? And I was like, yeah, I gave him the tablets that you told me. And she was like, oh no, we're gonna have to double it next time. So then after all of that happened, he, I get him home, he does the first treatment. And the first treatment for, again, those of you who don't know, basically what happens is you take him in, he gets a shot, you pick him up that night. So he's under observation all day and then at night time you come and pick him up and you take him home and then the second treatment i think was the time where you drop him off and you leave him there and then they do one th that morning that you drop him off and then one the next morning that yeah one the morning that you drop him off and then one the next morning that you drop after you drop him off so he has to stay there overnight and then that next night so that would have been the third treatment the next night you pick him up so the first treatment has like six months between the second and third treatment so i go and i pick him up everything's fine they're like gushing over him about how cute he is and how lovable he is and how awesome he is and they're like everything went according to plan he should be completely fine so the heartworm treatment basically kills over time so like it won't kill them all in one just swoop motion the medicine that they give them will kill them over like i think it's a two-day period um so they just keep dying off so you have to basically keep close observation from him so i get home from i think i was working at like the outlet mall or something at the time but i get home and um he's laying in my room everything's fine like i've been keeping him calm keeping him away from my mom's dogs everything seems to be fine and then all of a sudden i'm like walking around the house and he's like scratching himself he has bumps all over him and i'm like oh no oh no and his eyes are bloodshot and i'm freaking out so i call the vet and i like get him here as soon as you can it sounds like he's going into anaphylactic shock what happened basically so i get there as fast as i can the vet from my old house was about I want to say 20 minutes away it was past the Ellington Mall the Ellington Mall is like 10 minutes from where I was living at the time so it was like 20 to 30 minutes away so I I'm literally carrying this dog throw him in my car and I go to the vet as fast as I can once I get there they rush him into the back doctor the the owner of the clinic comes out because the doctor who administered the tet or the the treatment wasn't there she was off that day so the owner of the clinic comes out and she, he's talking to me and he's like so basically wesley had a one in one million one in a million chance of having an allergic reaction to the toxin that the worms put off when they die so let me let me say it one more time he wasn't allergic to the treatment he wasn't allergic to the grass i mean he is allergic to the grass but he wasn't allergic to anything i was feeding him he was allergic to the toxin that the worms put off when they die so basically that treatment entailed them putting um basically iv benadryl and a bunch of like iv anti-inflammatories and steroids into his system as fast as they could and then he had to be on prednisone and which he was on prednisone prior to the treatment too because they do that to try and help the treatment prednisone and antibiotics to help kill off the baby 
the eggs or something along those lines. I don't I don't know the perfect um, I don't know the 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 wording basically that they use, but that was why I had to use prednisone and antibiotics prior was to help with the treatment. So they put him on more prednisone and the craziest thing is he continued to have this reaction. Like I had to keep giving him Benadryl for I think a couple more days, but he didn't have it when they administered the second and the third kill cycle, the second and third treatment. I think what they did was they gave him Benadryl at the time of giving the treatment and he didn't have an issue. But they did tell me that like, it was super, super bad and we had to be super, super careful with him. And so um, he had his third treatment and he was calm for another, I think it was like two or three months after that, he had to be completely calm. And then finally he got the go ahead that he was heartworm free and he could do everything. So it was like $3,000 along with all of that happening in the first month of me having him, he was just a nightmare like he we would take him to the beach and he would get cut we, he had to have stitches on his leg like three times it was just insane that's why they were like keep him calm don't do anything with him please don't do anything with him um but now everything's fine and he's he's like the best dog in the world but like these are the things that people need to think about when they get dogs like heartworm treatment is crazy and it's crazy expensive you can treat your dog for seven years for the preventative and it would still be less than paying to have one treatment for your dog so it's it's like a really serious thing and i always tell people like definitely get your dog heartworm preventative because it's it's not a joke wesley went through it and we've had i think I think we've had four dogs that have gone through heartworm treatment. At least the ones that I can remember. So, this is my boy Wesley, and although I didn't give you his full adoption story, it really wasn't anything special. I just went to, and found somebody on Craigslist, and it was love at first sight. Say goodbye to all the people that love you and care about you and wanted to hear your heartworm story. No, no licking. Wow, you seem real excited about this. Say come back to learn more stories about me and my family. Oh, tomorrow I am going to be filming a ton because the new bun, which I'll get some video of him. The new bun has to be neutered and I am taking him to get neutered in the morning. So I'm gonna be a nervous wreck all day and I'll probably go to a bunch of like TJ Maxx's Marshalls and things like that. So I'll be vlogging that tomorrow and hopefully you guys will be able to see it. Oh, big stretch. You're not amused. Well, if you're not and you'd like to be, you can go ahead and subscribe and like this video. It really does help out. Um, I'm just trying to feed my dogs <laughs> and give a people a little education on animals. That's all I really want. I mean, like, I could sit here and talk to this camera all day long and you guys couldn't get anything from it because it could be about something that doesn't interest you but it's like 90% of America has some type of pet like learn about them let's figure out how to give them the best life in the world because I know that I'm heartbroken when one of my animals dies I can't imagine what other people are so let's spread some education about you know the dogs and the cats and the rabbits that's really all I have knowledge about <laughs> But um, if you like this video and you want to see more like adoption stories or medical problem stories, I can 100% do that. I mean, I have 11 animals right now and they all have different stories and different outcomes. So go ahead and like that button and I'll see you guys next time.